yesterday we were discussing about the heat conduction in r plane okay now today we'll see heat conduction in r theta plane okay it means that r theta plane it's a for a long for a long cylinder for a long cylinder <clears throat> this z direction g direction uh, will be you know negligible because since uh, you, you if you assume a fully developed flow then the profiles remain same in the g directions okay suppose you assume this is what i said about velocity profiles but suppose you are talking about temperature as heat conduction then thermal profiles will remain same okay depending on whether it is a constant temperature wall temperature or constant heat flux at the wall okay so the profiles remain same so there is no variation in the variable t temperature in the z direction in that cases we can consider in very long cylinder case cylinder case with fully developed thermal flow So there is no flow of you know uh, fluid but there is a flow of heat so we are talking in terms of development of a uh, thermal boundary layer irrespective of uh, the you know uh, the fluid flow there is no convection there is a conduction there are no variations in the uh, z direction is a zoom okay so uh, suppose if it is a r theta coordinate system then what is the what is the governing equation for r theta coordinate system so in case of r theta coordinate system r theta coordinate systems governing equation governing equation is del square so r the equation will be there del square del r square plus 1 by r del t del r that is there and one another term will come 1 by r square del 2 <coughs> sorry del 2 t t divided by del theta square is equals to 0 so this is a two dimensional problem this is the uh, you know diffusion in r direction this is a diffusion in theta direction so suppose we want to create a grid the domain domain may look like uh, as shown in in the as i am showing over here and this is the surface of the cylinder and this line is say beginning of the uh, theta variation so you can have this 
grids in theta direction also and they are uniform uniformly sized so <clears throat> okay and there are grids in r direction also one two okay so let me call this as i j point i comma j and let me call the next point as i plus 1 comma j okay and the previous point as n point n comma j okay so if you start with i you are going to come back you are going to come back here you are going to come back up to n okay this is the last point n point and before that it will be n minus 1 comma j it will be n minus 1 comma j okay so like this it will come now what about this point this point we can say as i comma j plus 1 and this point i comma j minus 1 so radial direction we are having j index and in theta direction in theta direction we are having i index okay you keep remember this and this is this length is delta r and uh, this is delta theta ok now with this notations and let me also write uh, if I am starting with 1 so this will be 1 1 then I can say 2 3 like that 2 3 and 4 and up to so I will be writing it as uh, M, MR points, ok. So, let this is, this is MR in radial and this is N theta, ok. So, let me write N theta. N theta comma J, N theta minus 1 comma J. n theta comma j these these points okay okay now with this notations you should be able to find out for interior points so for interior points what will be your equation for interior points interior nodes 2 3 4 5 you know mr minus 1 up to mr minus 1 interior points interior points interior points so we will use central difference central difference for both the second order term we need two boundary conditions in each direction in r direction two boundary conditions in theta direction two boundary conditions ok so Gurney equation is this boundary conditions if I have to write here now so boundary conditions will be at uh, so you need at r is equals to uh, 0 and at r is equals to capital r and at theta is equals to 0 and at theta is equals to 2 pi ok you need boundary conditions at these locations ok so interior points central difference how will you write central difference now r is in j coordinate so i am writing i j plus 1 minus twice t i j 
प्लस टी आई जे माइनस वन डिवाइडेड बाय डेल्टा आर स्क्वायर प्लस वन बाय आर आई जे बिकॉज दिस ऑल दिस डिस्क्रेटाइजेशन इज हैपनिंग एट आई जे नाउ आर आई जे सो सेंट्रल डिफरेंस फॉर दिस आई जे प्लस वन माइनस टी आई जे माइनस वन डिवाइडेड बाय डेल्टा आर ट्वाइस डेल्टा आर एंड देन द टर्म वन अपॉन आर आई जे स्क्वेर एंड सेंट्रल डिफरेंस हियर सो आई प्लस वन आई इज अ इंडेक्स फॉर थीटा आई प्लस वन कॉमा जे माइनस ट्वाइस टी आई जे प्लस टी आई माइनस वन जे एंड डेल्टा थीटा स्क्वायर इज इक्वल्स टू जीरो सो सिमिलरली यू कैन फाइंड आउट आर आर आई जे फॉर दिस ओके एंड ए आई जे ए आई जे फॉर दिस ओके सो यू कैन फाइंड सेंट्रल कोफिशियंट सेंट्रल कोफिशियंट एंड रेसिडुअल and central coefficients so i'm not going to write those again okay you you understand now so this has to be done for this has to be done for for i is equals to i running from 2 to i running from 2 to i is index for theta isn't it so i running from 2 to n theta Minus one <clears throat> and J J running from two to M M. एम आर माइनस वन ओके एंड एट बाउंड्रीज देर आर बाउंड्री पॉइंट बट वॉट अबाउट थीटा थीटा इज लिटल स्पेसिफिक ओके थीटा इज लिटल स्पेसिफिक एन थीटा माइनस थीटा एजी तीन एजी गुगल से थीटा एजी आह You will have to go up to n theta, okay? Not n theta minus one, because um, we have uh, we have to collapse on i, okay? So whatever is at i and n, they will be collapsing with each other, okay? Uh, what about boundary? Boundary. So at uh, R is equals to capital R, that is a surface. I is running from one to uh, one to n theta. Uh, say we have this boundary condition. I M R 
प्लस वन इज इक्वल्स टू पी जीरो ऑल आर एन प्लस वन सो से दिस इज अ कंडीशन नो व्हाट व्हाट हैपेंस एट यू नो At r is equals to zero, I running is problem, isn't it? I'll run i. At r is equals to zero, indexing is a problem. Del two t del r square plus one by r del t del r. This is also a problem. One by r square. This is a problem. Del two t, del theta square. So at r is equal to zero, this is going to become. This is going to become uh, infinity. Okay, so that is a problem. Also. At r is equals to zero, uh, del t del r is not equals to zero. Remember, okay. So del t del r depends upon angle theta. This means that del t del r, del t del r depends upon angle theta. On angle theta. so lospital rule lospital rule is not not applicable is not applicable and and at R is equals to zero. Del t del phi or del t del theta, del t del t theta, not existing. So what to do? Okay. So what to do? we need a special treatment okay there is there is a special treatment we need a special treatment and what is that special treatment it is called as local cartesian mesh okay we have to consider we need a special treatment where we consider consider a local cartesian local cartesian cartesian mesh okay so say uh, this is my center and uh, say this is the first uh, grid line and i have these uh, theta lines isn't it i have this we have this theta lines so let us draw okay so these are theta lines 
in theta direction and these are r direction lines. So, what do we do is we take a square here local square okay and square is taken such a way that Now, the points representing on this square, we write it as n, we write is as s, any notation you can give, I am writing capital E and capital W. So, you know that this is delta R and this is, uh, sorry, this is delta theta. And this point we already noted is, is a 1 1 point, is not it? 1 comma 1 that is our origin. Origin. This origin is a special treatment you need to give. Okay. Now, how do we do? So, we solve since this is a 2D problem. Now, we say that this is my x, this is my x direction, this is uh, our y direction okay. and since this is a two dimensional rectangle or a two dimensional square, uh, we write a equation, 2D equation for this in a Cartesian coordinate. 2D equation for in a Cartesian coordinate is delta x square plus del 2 t del y square is equals to 0 and del x, del x you can conveniently write as uh, in terms of delta r and delta y, okay. in terms of delta r and <coughs> delta y. So, delta x and delta uh, y, delta x is considered as delta r and delta y, <coughs> delta y is considered as delta, <coughs> delta r itself. This is the construct, this is the treatment is to be done. Now, if you write for this E n w s for this local coordinate system, then you can write for x, you can write T e minus T, what is that? 1 1 and twice plus T w divided by delta r square plus T n minus twice T 1 1 plus T w uh, uh, T s divided by delta r square is equals to 0. Okay. And, and since this is locally taken like that, so this can become uh, T e minus twice T 1 1 plus T w plus T n minus twice T 1 1 plus T s is equals to 0 and what do you see is that T 1 1 can be written as T e plus T w plus T n plus T s divided by 4. So, our objective was to get the temperature at 1 1. Okay. So, temperature at 1 1 can be obtained as a average temperature of these points. Okay. Of these points. And this is the appropriate, this is the appropriate 
boundary condition at r is equals to 0. This is the appropriate is the appropriate boundary condition at r is equals to 0. Okay. Now, at theta, theta is equals to 0 and theta is equals to, you know, uh, 2 pi, you have to simply, you know, copy, copy the uh, uh, terms. So, it is like a periodic boundary condition to whatever at Tij should be equals to Tij. So, you can write Tij is equals to this thing and uh, you know Tij is equals to i plus 1 that is it. Second at theta is equals to theta is equals to 2 pi okay. uh, t i j should be equals to t n theta comma j Okay. Sir, yeah. Sir, here how we take the T E T W T. Who is talking? Johnson. Okay. Uh, see, uh, you will you will have to construct this. These points will be. Uh, mm -hmm. You will have to note these points. Okay. Suppose you have this uh, system then you will be having grids right so say we have grids of this type how many grids are there now so you have to take the perpendicular this thing okay and then because you are you are taking the one side of the square passing through this point another square passing through another point and that will be at x and y x and y intercepts so once you know the greeting because uh, this will be generated by u only isn't it how many thetas will be there how many delta theta will be there that will be under your control isn't it hello yes sir, yes, sir. So, you know that how you are arranging it so, you have to arrange it like this such a way that 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, it comes like this. It, it should equally divide. Then only you know that which point is a, uh, you know, uh, midpoint of that square. Which point of this is a midpoint of that. So, this E, 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 e will have some IJ indexing. Okay. When I am writing E and N, uh, this is for making you to understand, but while you writing a code, you know that what is the meaning of W? What is that W? W will be the some point, isn't it? Suppose this is a 1, 1, then this will be 2 something or like that, isn't it? So, this is varying in R direction. In R direction, we have uh, J indexing. So, it will, it will be J will be 2. Uh, and theta will be whatever the theta you are considering from whether this is a starting point then 1, 2, 3, 3, 2 will be the if this is the starting point. Okay. Sir, uh. sir uh, then uh, this uh, 
T E T W T N T S. Will all these temperatures be equal, sir? No, we cannot say because there is no theta uh, symmetry. Since there is no theta symmetry, it doesn't mean that two one one two uh, three two will be same. Two three four two. This is one. Sir, so then we uh, just wait, just wait, J yes. and uh, J is two, so one two. Ah, huh. sir, but when we consider boundary conditions, we are taking R is equals to and the capital R is equals to, no, sir. So that's why then automatically it becomes symmetry. Huh. Uh, one one minute, one minute. Ha, huh. what do you say? There is no theta symmetry. Otherwise, uh, you know, theta can be varied with respect to, you know, you on this surface, suppose this is the surface, on this surface, you may have uh, some heat flux. Okay. Now, heat flux, now, as I shown, heat flux is varying. Here, the length of the line is shown as a, uh, the magnitude of the heat flux. So, you see, heat flux is not constant everywhere. It is varying, isn't it? Yes, sir. So, there is no theta symmetry. Okay. So, 1, 2 and 4, 2 temperatures may be different also. Yes, sir. Sir, uh, that uh, last hospital uh, rule, uh, you told it will not be applicable, no, sir? Yeah, it will not that be part, applicable uh, because there is no theta variation. Uh, theta, uh, there is a theta variation. In previous problem, in 1D problem, what you were saying is that at R is equals to 0, since there is no theta variation, Whatever the changes in this R, R is equals to R is there, that changes will be same in the R is equals to minus R, isn't it? Oh, yes, sir. That is only possible when you have a theta symmetry. Okay. It also means that it will be like this also, this, this line also represents r is equals to capital r and r is equals to minus r so it is only possible when we have a theta symmetry yes sir. theta symmetry this point value and this point value will be same similarly here also this point value will also be same uh, this theta symmetry is not here that is the reason we cannot use that l hospital rule l hospital rule because del t del r is not zero Okay, del T del R is not 0, but 1 by R is 0, infinity is coming, del T del R is not 0 and since del T del R was 0 in previous case, Lospital rule was uh, workable, but here it will not work. Okay. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Fx, Gx, they should be 0. Yeah. So, okay. Okay. So, this is like, now uh, here also, you know, in the boundary conditions also, you will have to find out uh, Rij, Aij, okay, everywhere. So, that I am assuming that you will do that. Now, we will just see how to do these things. In this coordinate system, you see now you can observe things are becoming little difficult. You have to always assume something, you have to give some special treatment, okay. So, little, little uh, uncomfortable. This, this may not be uh, suitable for generalization. Okay. At the end of the day, what we want is general cases, general. So, that once I write one code, for example, it should be applicable for all type of problems. Otherwise, you will have to write individual codes for every problem, isn't it? Fluent. For example, ANSYS fluent doesn't give like that. Otherwise, whatever the problem you have, then how uh, the software will come to know that you are solving a specific type of problem and then they will have to write all type of codes. And then for specific, your problem, it will be adjustable like that. No. The codes are written in more general sense. Okay, anyway. Uh, we are not saying that these are bad, but at this for this course we have to learn. So in R theta, we'll just uh, see. Uh, we'll try to learn. 
response uh, cfd course we will not be talking about this okay we will be talking about finite volume method okay so this is done how much time do we have we will do the same thing for spherical coordinate system 14 14 minutes sir ah uh, okay done very good so i can do spherical coordinate system procedure remains same ah huh? spherical coordinate system and uh, we will consider axisymmetric uh, we can consider okay we can consider r system or r theta system okay now how to uh, get in r system you know the situation in r system your governing equation will be in r system your governing equation will be uh, del 2t del r2 del 2t del r2 plus 2 by r 2 by r del t del r is equal to 0 isn't it now for this case uh, since there is a theta symmetry you can use that special treatment for r is equals to 0 loss pitol rule and you can get the situation so i will ask you to do this as a homework okay and we will we will take into consideration now r theta system okay so for r theta r theta system governing equation is this plus del r square plus 2r del t del r plus 1 upon r square 1 upon r scale r square del 2t del theta 2 plus cot cot theta del t del theta is equals to zero okay so we have two coordinate two dimensions r and theta now in this case uh, you can uh, have a grid like this uh, so i am showing one part of the grid this is theta is equals to zero and this is theta is equals to uh, pi 180 and uh, we can have so this becomes theta grid these are all same huh? these are all all having same delta theta while drawing it may do not it may not appear like they are having same delta theta but all having same delta theta same delta theta and we may have 1 2 3 okay so we can write ij indexing so let, let if i am writing ij like this <coughs> i am using j for radial direction so ij minus 1 uh, like this and then this will be i plus 1 i plus 1 comma j and this will be i minus 1 comma j so how do you do uh, you know screen okay 
So for interior points, we can write again, uh, so for J is running from 2 to <coughs> 2 to M R and i i is running from uh, 0 to 2 pi <clears throat> okay and again you can calculate rij and a aij or aii and so boundary uh, so i is equals to mr plus 1 and j is running from 1 to n theta plus 1 okay m r plus 1 Say, say this is a Dirichlet boundary condition, T R M R plus 1 is equals to 
t naught is a given value okay so at at uh, r is equals to uh, capital r at r is equals to capital r there is no problem same problem uh, and at r is equals to 0 you have to do at r is equals to 0 you have a problem isn't it so you use local cartesian local cartesian mesh and the local cartesian mesh looks like this okay so this is your e say this is your theta then there will be your pi direction So, and uh, there will be and say so this distance is delta R. So you uh, so this is a three D system, okay. So spheric sphere will look like a three D system. Uh, Just a minute, let me just think for a moment. Okay. Um, local cartesian mesh for this problem the local cartesian Uh, give me some time. We'll, we'll discuss this later. I'm just little confused about this. R is equals to zero. We'll discuss later. Okay. Can we ask?
ओके देन विल स्टॉप हियर बिकॉज आई एम ऑल्सो टेकिंग सम टाइम ओके